Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to MTD Speaks. Okay, so we got some big news in the news. France. All right, what's going on, guys? Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Freedom of speech and expression is considered in many countries as an important social value, but Muslims act very differently for certain governments. France, officially the French Republic, the largest country in Western Europe, is also pretty much famous for Islamophobia, for example, the Charlie Hebdo cartoon, hijab ban, imam ban, you name it, they are all there. France has one of the largest Muslim populations in Western European countries and the government's crackdown on the Muslim population is quite often as we see it on the news. Recently, Mohamed Benali of Genvilliers Mosque near Paris was speaking after the Minister of Interior, Gerald Darmanin, threatened the mosque with closure unless it sacked an imam who gave a sermon there on June the 4th which was considered to be contrary to Republican values. This sermon led to the imam being summoned to the Odosen authorities on July the 8th as part of the fight against separatism and radicalization. The imam was talking about the modesty of women and today's use of social media. People practice different faiths and sometimes live according to modern day social standards and it is a personal choice as well. Unless you teach your next generation, how do you expect them to know? Mohamed Benali said, I'm sorry that the public authorities have behaved in this way, but I have no choice but to suffer this unjust pressure on all the community. This separatism law, which has been voted on, seems to target Islam in France in its entirety. If Gervillier Mosque is threatened with closure, every mosque should be worried. Further, he added, a priest told me that if they close the Genvillier mosque for these remarks, they should close 70% of churches because even priests preach about modesty. Right. Do we need to even wonder why our church is not targets of these laws? This is bias and double standards, and Islamophobia is state-sponsored here. In the past, France had many colonies, including Algeria, and it ruled Algeria for more than a hundred years and went on to colonize other countries, saying they want to uplift the civilization and converted them into slaves. Today, the Muslim population of France can be third, fourth, fifth generation born French citizens. Instead of providing them security and comfort, France's constant crackdown on them should be condemned. To all our brothers and sisters in France, we are with you. We make du'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah protect you and give you an upper hand. Ameen. You know, it's never a good feeling when you're on the receiving end of discrimination and uh, you feel it, you see it, you hear it all the time that you're really not wanted or your presence somewhere is either making people feel uncomfortable or just simply straight up like they don't like you and what you're about. So you gotta go. And it, that, that comes in all various different. And in, in this case, in France, it's just uh, the you know the Muslim population. They're they're worrying like, okay, well, this uh, country, this republic, where we are to practice freedom of speech and freedom of religion. But what's up with all these laws and potential laws that could pass? that seem to be targeting Muslims because they they teach a certain thing or they they live a certain way. France, they, they, they there's a big double standard. Like I remember when we uh, covered the Charlie Hebdo uh, case where those cartoons were published and France was saying, yes, country should have the right to freedom of speech. Uh, anyone in the country, any company in the country should have the right to freedom of speech. And they defined what freedom of speech is and what hate crimes were and for in, in many cases I, I tend to agree with a lot of what France says about freedom of speech even if it could be offensive to somebody it's just my belief that I hold that that freedom should still be allowed and it's up to an individual how they respond now there's certain hate speech that can incite violence like for instance when the uh when donald trump kicked off of all of social media because uh, they said that what he was saying was inciting riots at capitol hill in the united states so things like that that are purposely done to incite violence 
and really yelling threats towards a group of people or somebody's life, you know, that is hate speech that uh, can be racist, Islamophobic in this case. But generally speaking, uh, freedom of speech should be allowed. And France backs this because they were backing the Charlie Hebdo cartoons that were offensive to Muslims. So on the flip side now, if you have a Muslim saying that people should be more modest and teaching and preaching modesty, um, especially when it comes to the use of social media and things like that, why aren't they allowed to say that? If you say, okay, this offensive cartoon to Muslims should be allowed under freedom of speech, why can't a Muslim talk about modesty under freedom of speech? So again, yeah, it is a little concerning when you're the one that's under the the discrimination and uh, I, I feel I feel bad for Muslims over in France you know um, it's just it's unfortunate that the government is acting out like this and um, I guess we don't necessarily see how far this can go and if you're gonna single out Muslims and talking about closing mosques then yeah he's right the the churches you know and uh, other religious places religious places of worship should be considered too why is it just islam so yeah guys so that's my two cents on this i'm curious to know what you have to say down below in the comment section do you agree or disagree with my comments on freedom of speech and, and let's just hope that this doesn't get to a point where other countries may have to intervene and uh, this turns into like a muslim persecution like we see it time and time again in history when a viewpoint is taken and a group of people is lashed out. I don't, I don't got to mention names, but we just got to look back in history, recent history, where groups of people were targeted by governments, you know, all over the world. And it's just hope that this doesn't lead to that, guys. All right, so that's it for me. I'm going to get out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.